See a minor hang on a second. Am I actually on camera? Yeah, you, you drop your elbow and from when your cues are gonna go up. Like this. Um if you have to lock your shoulder up to help you remember to keep it down. And your cue, the tip of your cue, the ferrule of the cue should be found on the table after every shot. Just like that. It's such an amateur mistake. I can't believe I caught myself on the video doing that. But the stroke was still straight. Yeah, otherwise I would have missed, but it's an embarrassing mistake. take the rack off the table. I'm really, really, really bad about this because it's a habit from practice and I just leave it on the table. Usually down to the last ball, the nine ball. I'm playing nine ball. And I just won't worry about it and if the rack is in the path, I'll just shoot it a little bit harder so it's not distorted by the rack itself. But yeah, um, Find out the rules uh, for the tournament you're playing, or the league you're playing, or the rules that your opponent is playing, if you're out there doing bad stuff. Um, not that I'll explain bad stuff in another video. I'm not allowed to explain bad stuff anymore because I don't want to corrupt the children. Um, and rules vary uh, from tournament to tournament. Some mandate uh, that the breaking player has to take the rack off the table um, after the break. Um, some mandate that the like if you break a dry or whatever, uh, the opponent has to take the rack off the table before he shoots. Um, some mandate that the player who racked the balls has to take the rack off. So you got you got to find out the rules and play by their rules. Um, and it's just kind of sense. It's just a matter of laziness on my part. Um, I just don't do it. But I, I have to break that habit before it gets me in trouble. So I, I promise I'm going to work on it. You should you should do it too if you're not already in the uh, in the habit of doing it because they're calling fouls from players that are supposed to be removing the rack and don't do it. Yeah. immediately trying to adjust something whether it's recoiling the stroke real quick or trying to straighten out your stroke after it's much too late or already shot the object well it's actually a good thing because some part of you usually your subconscious is trying to tell you 
hey that stroke sucked. <laughs> so you need to listen to yourself and your subconscious why you're playing pools like whoa heads up. Uh, why are you trying to adjust your stroke after you already shot the ball. So yeah um, when getting down on the ball you just want to shoot straight and when your stroke takes a life of its own, when you're still trying to adjust things after you shot the cue ball, it's like heads up, you need to work on something. Let's say the cue ball is right here, okay? And we're shooting the object ball, which is right there, and that's going into the side pocket, which is the end of this net here. Alright? As you're lining up the shot, you want to see it from the back of your cue. And you want to you want to stroke into line what you need to in order to make the object fall into the side pocket. Your whole cue should come down on the line from the back of your cue. Now you can get down like this sideways and just get down on the ball and everything looks right because you're only seeing the shaft of the cue stick from here to here and you're not factoring in the back of the cue. So when, when you're getting down sideways like this, everything can look perfect when the back of the cue can be way off because you're not sighting the shot from the back of the cue. You understand what I'm saying? You, you have to see the line through the whole cue stick so you get down right on the line. Not just right from here to here, but right from here to there. That'll help your aiming a lot. You should break center ball is the only way you're going to be consistently accurate. And you got to work on your accuracy anyway, so why complicate it? Uh, a little bit of stun draw to pull out the center table for the deuce. If I don't stun draw it over, I'm going to be stuck behind the. What is that? The five ball. And uh, here's where I come up on this shot. It's a big no-no. Watch, watch the end of the cue. Ready? Oh, God, that was so ugly. <laughs> oh, yeah, you didn't... Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that stick flying up. Big uh, elbow drop there. Stun drawing it again over for the five ball. The five ball on the top of the right-hand corner. And now I'm straight in here on the five, and the only thing I can do to get on the six is to draw it into the six, and I could see that I was on the side of the ball, so I knew I could get a roll if I drew it hard enough into the ball. At top right, to go all the way back up table. That's using a lot of table, but there's no obstruction balls in the way, and I had a clear path for it. And what is this? Uh, bottom right to come off the rail. You don't want to be shooting a nine ball on the rail. And I've been working on it. I get on the rail a lot because it's the last thing I'm thinking about when I'm shooting an object ball. Center ball again. You need to be accurate on this nine ball. I might have put a little bit of top on there, but it was still center.
Well, here we are for rack two, and there's three racks in here. And I drew it off the rack. That was kind of silly, but it looks like I made the two and the three both in the bottom left-hand corner, I think. And what are we doing here? I'm jacked up a little bit. Must have been on. Oh yeah, I'm just trying to go to the bottom round. Spin it over. That had a little bit of left on it. Just spin it over for the four ball. This is a, a tough shot, but I'm so relaxed here. And then I'm just, it ain't no thing. Just shoot it up and bounce off both rails, both side rails, to come back for the five ball in the top left hand corner. And I have to stun draw this again so I can stay out of the side pocket. Yeah, lightly. And I can go to the top rail here, but I choose. Man, I'm a draw junkie. Yeah, I choose not to. I, I, there's probably a better option to go to the top rail with a little bit of top left and uh, bounce off for that seven ball. Yeah, a little bit of top left on this shot. Not a whole lot of left here because you don't want to get bad. And that's where the rack got in the way. Hey, there's another rack coming after this, and I'm just going to let the music play. And I know I haven't been around lately, but I finally learned that taking care of everyone includes me, too. And I'm, I'm living the best years of my life. And yeah, I'm playing a lot of pool. It's what I do. Peace, everybody.